I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, look, I know, I know y'all wanted the TJ Maxx Marshalls video, but it's just easier right now for me to film the empties video because I am trying to clean up my house. And right now I need these empties out of here, girl. So that's what we filming. Please excuse the glare on my glasses right now, y'all. I am loving these glasses. If you are interested in my glasses, Please stay tuned for my upcoming video this week. It is my very first brand partnership. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm just excited that I'm finally starting to be, you know, getting recognized for my video. So yeah, I won't get into that. This is literally just an empty. So y'all, this is kind of a conglomerate of empties. A couple of empties from June, mostly empties from July, and maybe a couple em empties from August, just because this is my very first actual empties video that I'm filming. Um, I kept forgetting to save stuff for the empties video before I would throw it away. So I think my next empties video, it'll probably be a little bit more full, but even with, even still this video, it's a lot of stuff in this video. Okay. We got candles, we got body care, we got random stuff. We just going to talk about it. And I think I'm gonna do the candles first, just because I kind of have those already organized. Um, but yeah, like I said, y'all, my next empties video, I'm probably going to have a lot more because I'm going to remember to save stuff because I've actually gone through way more stuff than what is actually shown and being talked about in this video. I just have been forgetting to save it. So tough luck, whatever, but I still have some good stuff to show y'all. So if you're interested in my video and my empties of what I used up over the duration of the last couple of months, then just keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I am almost at 2K. When I hit 2K, I am going to do a great, amazing giveaway. So y'all, please help me get there. Y'all know my channel is slept on. We've already talked about it. We've discussed it. Y'all just help me get out there, share, like, subscribe. A lot of my people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And some people who watch my videos think they are subscribed, which they are not. So y'all, please, please, please subscribe. Help me get to 2K. Help me get to 5K. Help me hit these milestones, girl, because we just going up. The train is not stopping, girl. And we got places to go, okay? So without further ado, let's Let's get into the empty here are my candle empties y'all so um this is just a little reusable bag that i get from the vitamin shop i've talked about this before but i love that companies are doing reusable bags now so yeah i put them all in here so i'm just gonna set them over here girl and we're gonna talk about them okay all right so the first empties is just this little single wick of leaves um it's actually not all the way empty but i think i trimmed the wick too short unfortunately so it's just not burning evenly and that is something that I deal with frequently with single wicks from Bath and Body Works, which I've kind of told you guys before, I really don't like single wicks that much, but I do prefer single wicks when I am like taking a bath. I prefer to put like one or two single wicks on either side of my bathtub. And then also y'all, I like to burn single wicks alongside three wicks. If I feel like I have a really weak three wick that needs like something else, um, especially since I have really high ceilings, I feel like I like to burn two candles at the same time, like in the same vicinity, because it helps to add a little bit more, um, you know, dynamic to my scents. But leaves is definitely a scent that I will repurchase every single fall. This is literally one of my go-to fall candle scents. I love it. I've talked about it numerous of times on my channel, so I will not go in depth. But yes, that is a leaf single wick. And y'all, we have the cereal in cartoons. I hauled this during SAS this summer. Um, I wasn't really super a fan of this one, partially because I was expecting it to smell more like cereal milk, but it's, I don't know, it was more of like a cinnamony nutmeg, like it smelled more of like a spice type of, like this is almost like a Thanksgiving scent, I would think, but I mean, it was okay for it to be a single wick, like if I saw it in a three wick, I probably would purchase a three wick just to see if it burns better. But overall, the scent was meh. It's a single wick. I wasn't expecting much. So yeah, the three wicks. So this one, I think I just finished. Um, also, you guys, you will see a lot of my three wicks do have a lot of soot. Um, I was not the best in trimming a lot of these. Um, I'm usually really, really good about trimming my candles down before I burn them. Um, especially if it's a, pl a candle I plan on reviewing, but I was kind of lazy with that with a lot of these. So if you see the soot on the sides, please ignore it. A lot of that is my fault because I was not properly trimming them. But this is fresh spring morning. This is just a candle that I had in my bathroom. It's definitely very much like that laundry, fresh laundry type of scent. Um, and I mean, you know, I if I see this again for 75% off, because I'm pretty sure I got this for 75% off, 
during SAS, I probably would pick it up. Um, it's just an easy bathroom scent, something clean, something light. Um, these are the types of scents that I like to burn in my bathroom, which I have told you guys before. So yeah. Oh, and here's another one. I guess obviously I like the scent because I burned through this one as well. Um, this is just the other packaging. And I think I got this online during the um, during SAS as well. So yeah, another fresh spring morning. Then we have a summer boardwalk. This is literally a classic staple scent. I mean, she needs no introduction, girl. She is literally um, probably one of my most burned scents in the summer. And yeah. I do feel like the throw was not all that great in this particular packaging. Um, it was okay, but I just feel like the throw on Summer Boardwalk gets weaker and weaker and weaker each year. So I don't know. I feel like none of them have performed like the original in the purple, like not purple. Um, it did come out with Berry Waffle Cone in that purple like type of ribbed candle when it like originally released, I believe, or when it came out the first time I bought it anyway. Um, so I feel like they just don't perform as well as that particular packaging, but I mean, you know, it's still a good scent and I actually like to burn Summer Boardwalk and Berry Waffle Cone together. So I'm pretty sure I have a Berry Waffle Cone in here because they were probably burning at the same time. So yeah. All right. Next we have a Winter Candy Apple. Um, coincidentally, even though this is Winter Candy Apple, I have always felt like Winter Candy Apple is a year round scent. Um, the notes are candied apple, crisp pears and oranges. I mean, y'all know winter candy apple comes back literally every year, but I find myself burning it more in the hotter months and not as much in the winter because this is very much like a sweet, fruity, um, you know, tangy tarts type of scent. So I've never really associated this with winter. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's, you know, definitely a candied apple type of scent, but I just don't envision this with winter. Maybe if there was like some caramel or something in here making it like a little bit more rich, I would associate this as a winter scent. But yeah, I've never really associated this with winter. So, okay. And then we have the, um, the Peach on Earth Give Comfort. I don't know. I don't think I was particularly wowed by this one. The notes are fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, and frosted vanilla. I think I really liked the scent. Um, I did review this because I picked this up. Well, I did talk about the scent notes because I did pick this up during SAS. So I'm not going to go too in depth, but I don't remember this having the greatest of performance. So um, if it's 75% off, would I repurchase it? Probably. But I don't think this was anything where I was like, oh my God, this is the best candle I've ever smelled in my life. I do have some backups of this, I believe, but I probably will not burn them again until maybe further along in the winter. So yeah. All right. And then here is that berry waffle cone I was talking about. So like I told y'all, I pretty much burn these together. I like to burn berry waffle cone when I burn summer boardwalk. So this is his sister girl. Just another classic summer scent, buttery, fruity, like, you know, it's definitely a go-to in the summer for me. And I've talked about this on my channel probably a million times at this point. So I'm not going to go in depth about it, but yeah. All right, this is another summer scent that I will probably always repurchase. This is Island Margarita. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the packaging from last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, this is just very much a juicy lime fruity. I think there's mango in here. Let me see. Yeah, sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. And part of the notes are kind of blocked off. I don't know why, but... Yeah, it's just very much a nice, juicy, summery scent. I would love to have a perfume that smells just like this, but I'm still on the hunt for the perfect mango perfume. I do feel like I have one that I hauled, well, that I will be hauling in my Ulta Diamond Day review. So I will talk about that when it gets here. But yeah, love this candle. Always will repurchase this every summer. This is also not the lid that came with it, obviously, because this is a Christmas lid, but I got this for 75% off. So yeah. Okay, so then we have the Cotton Candy Champagne. Um, I got a good amount of these during SAS, y'all. I feel like maybe I have five or six back stocked. Um, and I think I still had some that I was able to gift as well. Honestly, y'all, I do... For some reason, this candle reminded me a lot of strawberry pound cake when it was burning. Um, the notes in this are bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. So I'm thinking maybe it's just got that same strawberry note that strawberry pound cake has. 
Um, I was not particularly wowed by the performance of this candle either. Either Like I feel like the wick started struggling a little bit even when I was trimming it. And I feel like, um, I feel like it wasn't the, you know, best throw or whatever. Like it was okay. You know, the scent itself, I did really like, it just reminded me a lot of strawberry pound cake, which I feel like is why I probably liked it. Um, but yeah, I would probably burn through the ones that I have. And I don't really know that I would repurchase this just because I don't feel like the performance was all that great. Um, it, the scent was nice. It was cute. But I feel like I would rather have strawberry pound cake than have this. It, this didn't give me enough of a wow factor to be like, oh my God, I need this, you know? So yeah. The last candle I have is actually from Target. Um, this is probably my favorite Target candle, you guys. So, um... I have tried the Opal House candles and I feel like the Opal House candles, they just never really have that great of a performance. But these, the Threshold candles, this one in particular, this is the Berry Lemonade and Melon. Y'all, I burned this one down to the last drop because it was so good. The throw on this was amazing. It literally smelled like a berry lemonade. Like it just smelled like juicy sweet ripe lemonade it was a perfect balance of sweetness with tart like it was just so good and then i could also smell like that honeydew i think it's a honeydew no it's a cantaloupe but yeah i could definitely smell the cantaloupe in here it was just so good it reminded me it reminds me a lot of um summer melody from bath and body works except I think it's a cantaloupe and not a honeydew or whatever the vice versa and then add like berry lemonade. It just smells really, really good. So I definitely recommend this candle. I will definitely repurchase this for sure. Um, probably next summer because I do feel like this is more of a summery scent because it's really fruity. But yeah, there you go. So everything else I have in this gigantic uh, Steve Madden tote. So fun fact, y'all, I've told y'all this before, but I have worked in retail a really, really long time. Many, 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 many years. I worked in retail for at least 10 or 12 years before I transitioned into bartending completely. Um, but I got like a million of these totes when I worked at Steve Madden during um, a Black Friday because these were the bags that we were giving customers to purchase it in. So I have like a bunch of these and these surprisingly, I use these for everything. Like I've had these for a few years and they still hold up. So I've just been putting my empties and all kind of random stuff in there, but yeah. Okay, y'all. So the first thing we're going to talk about are these Tide Pods, the Free and Gentle. Girl, if you have sensitive skin, these are the you know what, okay? So I think a lot of people don't realize when you have sensitive skin, the laundry detergent and stuff that you use, especially for your sheets and your clothes, can really affect you during the day. So if you are prone to like hives or just like getting really irritated really easily which i do and i found that um the bath and body work shower gels were doing that for me um my laundry detergent is really important i have to have laundry detergent that is like free and gentle or free and clear or just something that does not have like strong scents and stuff like that and my laundry detergent like i need all of my stuff to just be real basic especially my workout clothes i do not like for my workout clothes to have a scent to smell like detergent um especially number one because i always wear perfume and other stuff but number two like i said the detergents and the dyes and stuff they tend to irritate me especially when i wear a lot of tight fitting clothes so yeah, these are my go-tos. I usually will use the detergent or the pods. These obviously are just much easier to use, but I use both. I just go through these pretty quick because every now and then if I have a bigger load, I'll use more than one. So yeah. Hey girl, this is MCT oil, which by the way, you guys, I, I am still going to be posting my fitness and health stuff on here. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to format it. I really don't want to create a whole new channel, but I'm thinking I might have to just because of the type of content that I want to post. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is MCT oil. This is honestly my only, my holy grail. I put this in black coffee. I put this in tea. I take it by the spoonful. MCT oil is basically, um, it's it's basically coconut oil, but it's the triglycerides from coconut oil. So um, the the benefits, it says all day benefits, uh, boost your brain power in the morning, energize your body before workouts, fuel your day and, cr and crave less. It is quick and sustained ketogenic fuel made from organic coconut. So um, basically, I'm just gonna read it off of here, which is gonna be the easiest way. It said it contains easily digestible fats that quickly convert 
to ketones, giving the brain, muscles, and other tissues fast and sustained energy. Y'all, when I first started using this, I like was not convinced that it was going to work. But literally some days when I tell y'all in the mornings, I don't even need coffee. If I just take like two tablespoons of this and drink like a whole bunch of water, I am super, super energized. I don't have as many cravings. If I feel like I'm on, like when I'm on my period, especially I try to take at least a tablespoon of this a day because it helps keep those cravings for like unhealthy stuff away. And this is just a really, really great alternative to caffeine if you're feeling like if you're someone like me that deals with anxiety and you don't particularly want to have any caffeine at that time, this is a great alternative. You can literally get any brand of MCT oil. I promise you it'll be good. I got this, um, I'm pretty sure I got this from Whole Foods because they were running a sale on it during the time that I got it. But yeah, obviously you want to try to get one that's like certified organic. But yeah, I swear by MCT oil. It is amazing. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. Oh, so this is the fun one. Okay, so I finally finished one of the vanilla confetti sparkles. So honestly, y'all, I ended up putting this in my car. And for whatever reason, I know you're not supposed to keep scented products in your car, especially with heat. And my car is black, so my car my car is black with leather seats. So it just be on hell in there. But um, basically, I kept this in my car and for whatever reason like the heat just made this smell so much better but this was my car lotion so I finished it fairly quickly um and it just I don't know it was still a pretty much a basic vanilla scent but it did get a little bit sweeter when the heat got involved so I don't know y'all but would I repurchase this possibly I do still have one or two backups of this I believe so after I get through those I will let you guys know but I still don't feel like this was what it was hyped up to be I was expecting it to be more sweet more like frosting or you know what I'm saying something that was just like overtly sweet but it's just kind of like man like this is great to layer I felt like if I wore this it didn't really interfere with any of the other scents that I had on it gave it a little bit of creaminess um I liked to layer this with the Mont Blanc signature and I just feel like they kind of played off really well with each other but overall y'all I mean I just feel like this wasn't like super amazing it just was very much a great basic scent to layer with other things if you kind of catch my drift so yeah these i probably went through way more of these and i'm actually really salty with myself that i did not get more of these when they were 75 percent off during sas because i kind of slept on them like i know they were going for like a dollar and i was like oh they're just some basic wipes but honestly y'all when i tell y'all i love these like to sanitize my hands when i could not get to a sink or when i felt like hand sanitizer because you know sometimes when you put on hand sanitizer it's like it's still sitting on your hands and it's still a little weird but these were amazing these were basically just like wet ones or wet wipes whatever the brand is but like scented and your favorite bath and body Works scent and they just made my hands feel so clean they were easy to use um and they smelled really really good my only drawback with these y'all because i would 100 percent repurchase these like especially if they go 75 percent off for like sas again for sure, for sure would repurchase these. I would definitely not buy them at 850, but if I see them at an SAS um, again, I would definitely repurchase them for 75% off. But yeah, my only issue with these y'all is I don't know if it's just the opening and I don't know if this is why they went 75% off, but when I would try to pull one out, it would pull out like multiple. I'm talking like I would pull out like three or four at a time sometimes and I would try to stuff it back in there. But then when you try to stuff it back in there, it messes up the flow of all the other ones. So that was my only issue. And um, my best friend actually got me some as well. And, and she ended up, she said I influenced her to get some. And she was saying she had the same issue with these. So yeah, that's my only complaint with these. But otherwise, y'all, I love these. I'm very sad that I did not get more of these because I think I'm down to possibly my last two packs or whatever. And I'm probably going to go through those really, really fast. So yeah. These are the Bath & Body Works antibacterial hand wipes. I hope that we see more of these in the fall or something like that. But yeah. Speaking of wipes, I did finish a pack of the Honey Pot Feminine Wipes in the Sensitive Formulation. Um, I feel like I've already talked about these. I think I talked about these in like a Target haul or something. But yeah, I go through these wipes really, really fast. If I don't pack, if I don't purchase them in this pack form, I will purchase them 
in the little box that has each of the wipes individually wrapped. I feel like those are also good to have because you can literally just take one out if you're carrying like a small purse and you wanna have something to like freshen up throughout the night. Um, also, these are really, really good if you are like trying to wipe sunscreen off your face before you reapply. If you're feeling particularly sweaty and you just wanna wipe down, like you literally can use these everywhere. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend these. I go through these all the time. So yeah, I would for sure repurchase, probably will repurchase, I already have a backup repurchased. So yeah, hey okay, y'all. Moving on to the Coconut Curls Conditioner. So this is my favorite like cheap natural hair conditioner. Um, I do have my more expensive, like more expensive natural hair brands that I use on my hair, but this is just literally my favorite cheapy favorite. Like if I'm wearing a style that has like, you know, some bundles or, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have like this hairstyles where you get in a sew-in or you wearing a wig, like I feel like this is a great cheap conditioner to use on your bundles or your real hair. Um, it's very, very moisturizing. This is a great conditioner to use to co-wash with if you're not using shampoo because I know I do tend to co-wash quite a bit on my natural hair. I don't always like to use shampoo first because I feel like it just strips my hair too much because my hair can be, my hair and my scalp can get pretty dry at times. So I try to avoid overly stripping my hair. So I co-wash a lot. I will pre-poo and co-wash co quite a bit. And this is just my favorite little go-to little cheapy um, conditioner if you have curly hair or natural hair and vice versa. So yeah. So I did finish a vitamin C tree hut. Um, I think I finished a few more of these, honestly, but I ended up throwing them away. I'm pretty sure I finished a Tropic Glow and another couple that aren't in here, but this is the vitamin C one. Um, this one isn't particularly like my favorite favorite, but this is definitely an easy one um, that I use in the summer if I just want something to make me feel clean and refreshed and I'm not particularly about to go anywhere. Um, this does have skin brightening properties and it does make my skin really, really soft. But this one isn't my particular favorite one, so I probably won't re I probably won't be repurchasing this one immediately. I will probably use this one more so once it gets hot again next year and um you know go from there so yeah hey okay, y'all i'm trying so hard to do this a little bit organized so here's another scrub this is the dove exfoliating body polish in mango um just cutting to the chase i love the scent of this and i do use the mango bar soap as well as the mango body wash but i'm not crazy about the body polishes by dove just because i feel like if i want something exfoliating i want something that's truly going to exfoliate i want something thicker I prefer a more dense, thick um, exfoliator. I feel like this almost gave me like the vibes of like a cream. Um, so I'm just finding that I personally don't like body polishes because they don't exfoliate in the way that I want them to. But I love the scent and I do use other things from Dove in this scent line. I just don't really like the body polishes. So I probably will not be repurchasing this. I think I do have two more body polishes from them that I have to get through, but I'm not excited to use them, put it that way. Like I will probably use so many other things before I go in and use it. And I will probably have to force myself <laughs> to finish the other two. So yeah. yeah. This is the Olay Nourishes for Glowing Skin in Cocoa Butter and Manuka Honey. I feel like I might've possibly talked about this in a Target haul. I think I did, I'm not sure. It could have been another scent. Um, but yeah, I finished this pretty well. I do love that it has a pump, so I would probably repurchase this in another scent. Um, just number one, because I love the pump, but the scent itself was okay. It was pretty, I don't know. It was pretty basic. Um, I don't know that it really smelled like cocoa butter or manuka honey. I mean, I guess it kind of smells like cocoa butter. I don't know. The scent of this did not particularly wow me. The performance of it it was decent. I mean, for it to be Olay, like I do feel like my skin was a little bit softer, but I think the selling point of this was just the pump because I do like using pumps in the shower, but I don't know. I probably wouldn't particularly repurchase this specific one. I would probably try some other scents before I got this one because I don't feel like this one wowed me enough to be like, oh my God, I need to go buy this again, you know? So yeah, I would just use a bunch of other body washes that have a more... I don't know, a more appealing smell um, than this one. Okay, I did finish one of the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butters. 
Um, and that's saying a lot for me, y'all, because I have a lot of body butters and lotions. So when I finish one, I'm like, oh my God. And this is actually one that I got at the beginning of this summer. So this one I found myself using a lot, especially for my layering, just easy, an easy way to add coconut to something. Um, and this one I found to be pretty moisturizing, especially when I mixed it with the lemongrass coconut oil from Trader Joe's. Um, so yeah, I really, really liked the consistency of this one. I really, really liked how moisturizing it was. And for $5, I mean, you just cannot beat it. So yeah, since we are on the subject of body butters. So if you watched my last, well, not my last video, because when I post this, there will have been two videos since then, I believe. But if you watched my, my favorite discontinued Bath and Body Works since I did finally finish my last two little bits of the Coco Shea Honey. So this is the original launch. Um, and then I think this is like the second or the first time they repackaged it or whatever. But y'all, there are just not enough words for how much I loved this scent. It was the most basic honey scent, but it was like the most authentic honey scent. And it just stuck to me like glue. I literally could smell myself all day. And this scent, people literally started to associate with me when they would smell it. So I just feel like every time someone would give me a hug or walk past me, they would literally comment on how good I was smelling. And nine times out of 10 during that time, I was not wearing a whole lot of perfume because the place that I worked at did not allow like super, super loud scents. So this was like my perfume and I just loved it. And I really, really hope they bring this line back because I just feel like it did not get the love that it deserved. And I would rebuy this 1000 times over like literally if I repurchased nothing else from this from this empties video it would be these okay so yeah okay now this I did go ahead and finish as well I hauled this in an Ulta haul um and this is the Kula classic sunscreen spray and guava mango I love this you guys it was non-sticky it was great. Um, another thing that I like to do if I was outside for a long period of time, I would keep this in like a cooler or a fridge and like spray myself down with it when I was reapplying my sunscreen and it just gave a nice cooling effect. But like I told y'all when I hauled this, I really, especially in the summer, prefer for my body, I prefer spray on SPFs and sunscreen because it just makes my life so much easier, especially if I already have layered with a lot of lotions and oils and things. I don't like to consistently add on layers of moisture and things like that so spray spf just make my life easier and it also makes it easier to reapply whatever my scent of the day is because after i spray this on i can respray myself with my perfume or my fine fragrance mist or whatever and it sticks to the sunscreen really well and this surprisingly did not smell like sunscreen it really just gave a nice refreshing fruity type of scent and would i repurchase this absolutely i actually have repurchased it in my upcoming Hulta Diamond Day, Hulta, <laughs> my upcoming Ulta Diamond Day haul, um, I did pick up a different scent. So yeah, when that package arrives, actually, I think the package is already here. I think that one I did buy online, pick up in store. But when my online portion of that haul arrives, I will film that and talk to you guys more in depth. But yes, 100% recommend this for sure. Okay, this was actually exciting to finish because it is very hard for me to finish up perfumes. Um, but this is the Nest Hibiscus Nectar. I freaking loved this so much. I 100% would purchase a full bottle of this. I think I got this because I did one of those Sephora sampler kits where you get like a few trial sizes and then you can redeem it for a free full size um travel so yeah so this was an actual travel spray which i prefer these a lot more over the roller balls um but yes i love this scent it was literally just the most like refreshing and i don't even want to say refreshing it wasn't fresh it was like sweet and florally at the same time which i find like hibiscus and like those tropical florals have a bit of a sweetness to them oh this just smelled so good and i got so many compliments on this the longevity on this one i won't say was the best but i did not mind reapplying this throughout the day because the smell was just so pleasant i just wanted to feel like i was projecting anyway so yeah definitely recommend um, I would repurchase a full size, but I probably won't until next summer because I have so many perfumes that I 
I just have so many perfumes, y'all. It's getting a little out of control, a little overwhelming, and I need to really start using up some of the full-size bottles. So I'm trying to um, watch how many that I'm buying. So yeah, I probably will repurchase this next summer, next spring or something like that because it's just one of those scents. Really, really great. This will be really, really great to take um, on like vacation or something. So yeah. Okay, y'all, moving on. So this is just the classic Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I feel like Garnier was like the first company to do Marceller water, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is just something that I always repurchase. I literally use this on a cotton pad or a cotton round to literally remove like the first layer of my makeup before I go in and wash it. I just feel like they're a little bit more, it's a little bit more gentle on my skin um, than using an actual makeup wipe. And lately what I actually do is if I have on like, at least on my days where I have like a lot of makeup on or if like I had just come back from going out or something, I will use a makeup melting balm first and then um, I will go in with my cellar water and a cotton pad just to remove like any stubborn makeup or like on my eyes like residue and stuff like that. Then I will go in and actually wash my face with whatever my cleanser is so I don't feel like my cleanser has to work all extra hard to get stuff off and deliver whatever cleansing benefits to my face. So yeah, I always use this. I literally just repurchased um, this today, but I repurchased, I think the newest one, the one with like hyaluronic acid or something, the green with like the green top because I did not see any more of this one. Otherwise I probably would have just got this one cause I just feel like the OG one is the best in my personal opinion but they did not have it at my Target. So I was like, let me just try the new one. So yeah, hopefully by the time I do my next empties, I could talk about that one and let y'all know. But yeah, I will probably go back and pick this one up the next time I see it. So yeah. Since we are in that skincare realm, this is the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. Um, so CeraVe is actually a really, really great skincare brand. And while this toner, I personally would not repurchase it, but I'm gonna tell you why. It's only because I don't feel like this is targeted specifically for my skin. So I bought this toner because I wanted to have a toner that really hydrated my skin after I did like a skincare regimen that had like a lot of actives in it or something for the day. And while it does do that, it says it's got hyaluronic acid to help retain your skin's moisture, niacinamide to calm the skin and won't clog pores. Um, I just feel like this was not targeted enough for my specific needs, for my skin needs. Like I have pretty combination skin. I wouldn't say my skin is particularly dry or oily. My issues more so with my skin are like, I have larger pores in my T-zone. I have hyperpigmentation. Um, I'm prone to breakouts and things like that. So I just wanted a toner that was more specifically targeted to my skin's needs. And I think this would be a great cheap toner for someone who that per suffers with like dry skin or this might be really good for somebody um, in the winter time if you just have dry skin in the winter. But I just don't feel like this toner was particularly for my skin type. Um, so it didn't really give me wow results. Would I buy it again if I had to? Sure, I would use it again. It didn't do anything bad to my skin, but it didn't make my give my skin a significant amount of like you know, whatever, where I would be like, oh my God, I need this in my life. So yeah, I probably would not repurchase this for me, but if you have dry skin or something like that, I would definitely recommend this for you because it is a very affordable hydrating toner. So yeah. So this is um, this is Alien Goddess, the original Alien Goddess by Thierry Mugler. So this I think came in a set. I told you guys I asked for this for my birthday back in February and my mom got it for me in like a gift set. So this is the travel size that came in the gift set. Honestly, y'all, I'm probably going to keep this and continue to refill it because the way that it is, you can like unscrew the top and it's a travel spray. So usually what I will do anyway is just use my Alien Goddess um, bottle and just spray directly into this on the days that I'm wearing it. So I will probably reuse this, but I did go through this and finish the actual travel size and this is definitely a summer staple. I will for sure repurchase this perfume next summer. Um, I may or may not finish the bottle that I have this summer. I don't know. I feel like it's about three-fourths of the way full now because I use it a lot, but 
if I do finish it, I will for sure repurchase it. So yeah, this is um, a really old aromatherapy energy orange and ginger. I think I've been keep I had been keeping this in my bathroom, y'all. These room sprays just they be lasting me so long. Like it's so hard for me to go through them because it's literally like one spray will take over the whole room. So. I go through these real, real slow. But yeah, this particular one is definitely one that I would only use in like a bathroom or a kitchen because it's super, super sharp with the orange and the ginger. Um, I personally would not like rush to rebuy this one. I think I just bought this one because it was like during a room spray sale and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this one. So it wasn't amazing, but I mean, it did what it needs to do. This um, is a honey pot, the sensitive formula. This is like one of the original formulas. Um, I did finally finish it. So I am now on a bottle of the newly reformulated one. And so far, I can't really tell a whole lot of difference. Um, I mean, I can't really tell any difference at all. Like, I really couldn't tell y'all the difference between from what they changed in the first one to the second one. But this is one of the original um, formulas of it. If I mean, you know, whatever. But this is definitely my go-to wash. I am trying a new feminine wash that I will tell you guys about <laughs> in a future haul so stay tuned for that but yeah this is definitely my go-to I usually will always do the sensitive one I don't really care for the orange one that's like the normal one um I just feel like this one's a little bit more gentle so yeah okay, so <laughs> this um I talked about in a uh I think my alien goddess intense review because this is a perfume that I picked up at Nordstrom during the anniversary sale I do still have one more travel size of this as well as a full size. Um, but yeah, this is just the travel spray of the Erin Amber Musk. I love this one, especially in the summer. This is just a great summertime scent. It reminds me a lot of the Ivory Cashmere from Bath & Body Works that I just talked about in my last video. Um, yeah, they smell very similar in the way that they're heavy on amber and musk and it's just blended together really, really nicely. So if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts on this perfume, definitely check that out. I will link it below. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely would repurchase, but I already have another one of these in the rotation because the set that I got came with two of these as well as a full size bottle. So I won't need to repurchase it for quite a while. So yeah. Okay. One more perfume. Um, this is the Skylight Vanilla Sky. I finally finished this. I got this quite a while ago. I think this was a Scentbird prescription. I mean, <laughs> subscription. I think this was from Scentbird. And honestly, y'all, I wanted so badly to be like, oh my God, I need to buy the full-size bottle of this. But even though Skylar, you know, has said that they have reformulated everything to be EDPs, I just feel like Vanilla Sky, it did not give what I needed it to give. Like this, it was definitely a cozy skin scent. I loved the scent. If you like sweet, creamy, coffee type of scents, it definitely was along those lines, which I love, but it just was not, it did not project. It was very much a skin scent for me and I just wanted it to be a little bit stronger. So I don't know, I might repurchase a travel size of it and try to play around with it more in the in the cooler months, but it just, I don't know. I It was not as strong as I would have liked it to be. And unfortunately, I would not repurchase it at this exact moment. Um, I will probably maybe repurchase it once it gets a little colder and see if maybe the performance is better when it's colder outside. So yeah, okay. this is an exciting one. So this is another thing that takes me forever to finish and that is Fine Fragrance Mist, even in the mini, but I was able to finally finish the Summer Melody. So I really was not even expecting to like this one, you guys. I think I picked it up because I had like a free travel size, um, mist or whatever and they did not have the travel size mist that i wanted so this was one that i was like oh well i haven't tried this let me try it and i actually really did end up liking it a lot um i ended up just kind of spraying it on it i think this is one that i kept in my car and every time i would like spray it and get out of my car somebody would tell me that i smelled really good so i would definitely um repurchase this i probably won't repurchase it this year because i feel like we're transitioning into fall so i'm start i'm trying to transition away from my summer recents um and this isn't one that i feel like i would really reach for like it did smell really really good like i got that genuine like honeydew type of note and it was like really sweet and sugary um and it reminded me a lot of that target candle that i was just telling you guys about but yeah i, I just don't think it is one that i would wear like that i would 
get excited to wear. Like I kept it in my car and I would put it on when I would get in my car, but it wasn't something that I was like excited to wear even though it smelled good. So that's probably the only reason I wouldn't repurchase it right away, but I would repurchase it like next summer or something. Um, I do think it's a good scent, so yeah. I don't know if y'all remember, but I did haul this in a Target video. Ooh, indigestion. Um, and I told y'all, this is the probiotic brand that I always use, but I usually always use the pink one, the Women's Daily, and this was, I guess, like a newer one, the 40 billion CFU. Honestly, y'all, I don't know what difference, like I didn't feel any different taking this one than I did taking the pink one. So I don't know, y'all. I feel like Target has been putting this particular one on sale lately because not a lot of people have been buying it, but I really cannot tell the difference between this and the pink one. And Nash is being 100% with you. And I've been taking the pink one for some years now. So I don't know. I will probably go back to the pink one, but I am trying another probiotic brand right now that I will talk to you about in a future video. So um, yeah, but I would definitely repurchase this brand because I've been using it. This is my go-to probiotic brand, but I would probably just go back to the pink one, the Women's Daily that I always take. Um, I experimented with this one. It didn't do anything amazing. I don't even know that there's a price difference between those two, so I'm not sure. But yeah, I would just go back to the other one. This one wasn't like a world of difference, you know? So moving on to some oral care. This is the Smart Mouth Clinical. Um, I think this is the, I forgot the scent because I think I rinsed it off, but there's like, I mean, ripped it off, but there's like two different, um, scents of this one. And I just kind of alternate between the two, but this is literally like the only mouthwash that I use because Listerine is just like, I've tried the purple one before and that one's okay, but Listerine, I just always feel like it's just so harsh. Like I hate that feeling of like my eyes watering after I like use my mouthwash. So this mouthwash is bomb um it i guess is like like especially like if you use this before you go to bed you will not wake up with morning breath and then if you use it like when you start your day you your breath will not stink at all girl like this is great especially if you are a coffee drinker like me i usually try to drink my coffee before i leave the house um so that i can use my mouthwash right after because it gets rid of that like funky coffee smell so I really wish that they would have this in like a travel size because that would be bomb because I would keep one in my bag but this this top is just way too the only thing I don't like about it is the top like the way that you have to do it you have to take this out and then it comes out like there's two different formulations that come out on either side so you have to make sure when you open this that both of the holes are punctured or else it'll be completely uneven until the end and you just won't have the right formulation. And for it to work properly, you have to have equal parts of both sides. So that's the only thing I don't like, cause I'm just like, why y'all can't just put it together and like make small ones, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, however they scientifically created it, this mouthwash is the bomb. If you have not tried it, definitely recommend it. We almost there. I just, I did not really, I did not realize how many empties I had, y'all. I felt like I did not have that many, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my God. On the subject of oral care, these are the Grin Tongue Cleaners. Um, honestly, y'all, I don't feel like these are particularly amazing in comparison to any other tongue cleaners, but these do come with a floss pick on the end. So that was pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, I mean, tongue cleaners, I just feel like they're a necessity. This is a pretty decent brand. You get it at Target. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it does anything crazy amazing, but this is definitely something that I use every day. Like I usually brush my teeth, floss, do my tongue cleaner, and then mouthwash, boom. That's my oral care routine. So yeah. Of oral care routine, I've gone through two of my favorite toothpaste. This is the Optic White Renewal and in enamel strength and then i have the other one in lasting fresh um this is literally the only toothpaste that i use y'all like colgate optic white something like it's there are like a lot of different variations of it now but this is the only toothpaste brand that i use it keeps my teeth white it keeps my breath fresh like I mean, that's all I have to say about it. Like, this is literally like my go-to toothpaste. This is another room spray that I managed to finish. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I think this is from like, honestly, two or three years ago. It's so old, but that's how long these things last, y'all. So this is just a great tropical summery room spray. Um, I mean, it smells literally 
just like the body care. This is the EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream in um, Vanilla Bliss. Honestly, y'all, I still was like getting cuts and stuff when I was using this, so I probably would not repurchase it. And I, I think the only reason now at this point I would not repurchase this is because I have fallen in love with the Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. Like, I don't think I ever will use shaving cream again. And honestly, y'all, um, I just started getting laser. So <laughs> I may not even be shaving at all in a few months, you know? So I will keep you guys updated, but that is a new journey that I started a couple days ago. So I'm super excited to see my results. And if you guys are interested in hearing more about my laser hair removal journey, let me know. Maybe I'll vlog the next situation. I don't know, but yeah. So this is the Black Girl Sunscreen. This is an SPF I will forever repurchase. I feel like this is the best SPF for anyone, any woman or man of color who deals with having a white cast with any type of SPF that you use. This literally moisturizes and protects. Um, my only issue with it is I wish this specific formula was a higher SPF because I don't really like the Make It Matte formula by them which is like an spf 45 and then i haven't tried to make it hybrid my target is usually always sold out but i just like this formula because it gives you a nice glow it's very moisturizing um and it does not leave a white cast so i would not recommend this though if you have oily skin because it does have like jojoba oil and avocado oil in it so it does make your skin i don't want to say it makes your skin oily but it does give you that kind of glowy glossy look so if you have oily skin this probably would not be a good option for you but this is definitely a staple spf for me i wear it on the days i'm not really going to be outside um in direct sun for long periods of time or when i'm in the house but yeah always will forever forever repurchase this is the uh alba botanica hawaiian sunscreen so i just finished one of these finally because i found two of these in my local tj maxx i was very happy about because this particular one has been discontinued i believe actually no yeah the hawaiian no i think the lavender one is the one that's discontinued but this one is also kind of hard to find right now too this is the hawaiian green tea both this one and the lavender one even though they're scented they do not irritate my sensitive skin and they definitely you know do what they need to do spf 45 they do not leave a white cast um i would not recommend any of the mineral sunscreens from this brand though though because they do tend to leave a white cast so yeah but definitely recommend the lavender and the green tea one if you see this in your local tj maxx or marshall's definitely definitely pick it up this is the polish choice youth extending daily hydrating fluid broad spectrum spf 50 so this is kind of like a combo moisturizer and spf this is another spf that i love it gives me the spf level that i need which is the spf 50 i i usually will wear this one um on the days that i'm working when i'm outside for long periods of time it definitely does not irritate my skin it's you know decently moisturizing i don't think it's as like moisturizing and glowy as the black girl sunscreen but this definitely moisturizes without being like shiny or goopy if that makes sense um and you know this is just an easy one this is a really easy one i don't have to worry about it interfering with anything this one is also really really great underneath makeup um and yeah i like it a lot so yeah this is one i've already repurchased for sure okay this is the frozen lake y'all i've had this soap for so so freaking long in my guest bathroom and i finally finally used it up um i probably would not repurchase this one just because i don't know at the time that i bought this i loved it but now i just feel like it's really a little bit too masculine for me like the notes are frozen cypress eucalyptus and juniper berry um, I love the packaging of it, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I felt like this one, I felt like I got tired of the scent halfway through it and it was just a little too masculine for me. So I used it up, but I probably would not repurchase this particular scent in a hand soap, probably in a candle because it would be like a one and done type thing. But with hand soap, I feel like I can get tired of the scent really, really quick because I'm constantly washing my hands. This is the Trader Joe's Matcha Green Tea Powder. Um, I love making matcha lattes. I love making them at home. I love getting them from Starbucks. These are just a great way to get caffeine if you feel like 
coffee makes you too jittery or anxious or if you don't like the taste of coffee these with some almond milk and a little bit of creamer bomb chef's kiss love these and they give you a nice clean um energy it's not like the jittery kind that might make you anxious or whatever so yeah so i have three native deodorants here um two of these are from holiday one is the sugar cookie one is the candy cane and then this is just the coconut vanilla i believe yeah i've got it backwards honestly y'all i would not repurchase any deodorant from native um i know it's supposed to be aluminum free paraben free and it's clean and all that but when you sweating, when you in the gym, when you working hard, this just does not do what it needs to do for me. So unfortunately, I will be going back to my Dove, my Secret, my spray deodorant, um, because this just doesn't do it for me. And these smelled cute, but I'm just like, they just don't do it. Maybe if you're like in the house or something, this brand is okay. But if you're like super active like me, I don't feel like these really did what they needed to do. So yeah. And here, these are probably one of my go-to multivitamins. You can pick these up in Target. Um, this is usually the brand that I pick up if the one, the other one that I really, really like is out of stock at the vitamin shop, which it usually is. And by the time I run out of them, I don't want to have to wait to order them online. So this is just an organic um, women's multivitamin, a whole food multivitamin. So you know, it's got more great stuff in it than like your traditional basic vitamin. Um, and I definitely feel like these give me energy. These make my, my nails and my hair grow. They kind of give me my skin a nice glow. Um, so this brand in general, you guys will see me talk about a lot because I use a lot of supplements from this brand altogether. But yeah, these multivitamins are definitely one of my staples. I literally do not miss a day taking my multivitamin. So yeah. Next is the CMOS from Nutravein. Um, I'm pretty sure that everyone was pretty much put on to CMOS during the time that COVID peaked. So I'm not going to talk about it. This brand was a brand that I got on Amazon from a lightning deal. I don't feel like it was particularly wowing or amazing, but I finished it. So whatever. I feel like there's some better brands or just getting sea moss readily available to put in like a smoothie is probably better. But this is just a little bit more convenient and I managed to finish it. This is maca root. Okay. I'm not going to go super in depth about the benefits of maca root, but on this bottle, it says supports vitality, energy, and stamina contains raw and gelatinized Peruvian maca. So maca, listen girl, it's a struggle for me, okay? Because I am currently single, right? So while it does give me amazing, amazing energy and it helps me stay awake throughout the day and it feels like it also helps me as far as like my hormones, especially during my period, like I'm not dealing with these terrible mood swings as much as i normally would y'all it's gonna have you ready to get pregnant i'm just gonna say it it's gonna have you ready to get pregnant so i really try to do maybe like one of these a day um because it makes me feel away but <laughs> yeah just keep that in mind if you guys do not take maca just fair warning start with a very small dose um because you're gonna be ready to steal somebody man no i'm just playing not steal somebody man but you're gonna want some male energy around you girl so it's gonna be a struggle i've kind of gotten used to it so now where i just deal with it but yeah girl if you don't have a man be careful getting these because you're gonna be you're gonna be acting up. Are we almost done? It's literally getting dark, so I'm trying to hurry up because I do not feel like putting my ring light on because as you guys know, it's a struggle. But this is the Fenty Skin um, Hydra Visor. So this, um, yeah, this is just an easy reach SPF. Um, this is another one that I would probably categorize in the same category as um, the Black Girl Sunscreen where it does not leave a white cast. It actually is lightly scented, but it doesn't irritate me and it just absorbs really nicely. I'm pretty sure this is the SPF 30 or SPF 35. And what I like about this is you can actually purchase the refill, which I will probably repurchase the refill to just put in here and then it just twists up and down. 
Um, but yeah, Fenty Skin is just a great affordable skincare option. Um, and yeah, there's some other new Fenty Skin items that I will probably talk about in a future haul. But yeah, I would definitely repurchase the Hydrovisor. I have repurchased it a few times now. So yeah. Okay, y'all. This here is the Dove Nourishing Body Care. You literally can get these from the Dollar Tree for $1.00. Um, if I don't buy this one, I will buy the one in that's pink though. I think it's like the, I forgot what it's called beauty something, but yeah, there's one that comes in a pink one. And then there's also another similar one that they sell at Dollar Tree by Vaseline, the cocoa glow, or it's the one that looks like this, but it's brown by Vaseline. That one's also really good. These are surprisingly super, super moisturizing y'all. Like a little bit goes a long way. And I think that's how these last so long. And I think if you try to find these on Amazon, they sell these for like $20 a pack on Amazon. So if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, definitely go and run up there and check these out. I, I definitely recommend this one or the pink one um, or the Vaseline one that's brown. They're all super, super moisturizing and they're very small. You can fit them in a purse, a car, wherever. Um, and yeah, I just love these. Oh my God, I'm trying to hurry up y'all. It's literally getting dark. Okay, this is the Polish Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. I've talked about this in a Sephora haul, so I'm not gonna go in depth, but I would 100% repurchase this. This is a super hydrating toner that gives me just a little bit more benefits than I feel like the um, CeraVe one did. Um, and yeah, I just love this one. And this one actually is made for normal to dry skin, which, you know, that is my skin. I feel like it just absorbed into my skin really nicely. And I was able to use this in between my other skincare steps. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already repurchased this. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Um, I would 100% repurchase this. I probably will repurchase this after I finish the one that I got from Pharmacy. Um, just because this is super, super cheap and I think that I get more in here for, I get more product in here um, at a cheaper price than I do with most makeup cleansing bombs. And like this did not irritate me. This literally did a bomb job of taking my makeup off. So once I finished the one from Pharmacy, which I think was like $30 or something, I think this is only like 10. I'm probably going to repurchase this just because I don't notice that huge of a difference where I'm like, oh my God, I prefer the more expensive one. Like, no, this literally does what it needs to do. And all of Elf's products are just bomb anyway. So yeah, I would 100% repurchase this. Okay, y'all, this is something else I talked about in a Sephora haul. Whew, I'm out of breath. This is the First Aid, Be First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. It's kind of scratched off, but... As you guys can see, I used that down to the last drop. When I tell y'all this literally, even though it's pricey, this literally made my skin so luxe and soft and bouncy and just, this is probably the best moisturizer I have ever used on my skin. But I will say I did not use it as much in the summer. Um, this I feel like I probably would reach more for in the cooler months. So I'm probably not going to repurchase this until a little bit later in the summer. I mean, later in the fall, but this did give my skin super, super moisture, like just great moisture levels on the days where I felt like my skin was like dry or I had like a really intense, you know, active type of day or like if I get like a chemical peel like this will probably be something that I use so yeah definitely 100% going to repurchase that this right here is the mad hippie antioxidant face oil 100% going to repurchase this I actually only reason I haven't repurchased it is because I was waiting to see if Ulta was going to include this as one of the brands for the diamond day because usually they do but they did not this year so I'm just going to have to buy it but this brand does usually go on sale but y'all, this is one of my holy grail natural skincare brands. They have so many amazing products. And I feel like this brand is just so slept on, but you can get it at Ulta. This oil I love to use at night to seal in my skincare routine. It has a whole lot of benefits for if you deal with discoloration or breakouts or, you know, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, like this oil is literally the bomb. You literally only need to use one or two drops like, and you can mix it with your moisturizer. You will wake up with the most beautiful glow. Um, and it also is a great daytime oil to mix with like a vitamin C serum as well to just give you that natural glow. So yeah, 100% would repurchase this for sure. Um, 
This is the Polish Choice uh, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I'm not even going to talk about this because I've literally just hauled a gigantic kit of this that I got during Nordstrom's anniversary sale. So needless to say, yes, I would repurchase it. I've already repurchased it. This is a holy grail in my skincare routine. And I've said it before, if you deal with texture or hyperpigmentation, this is something that you need. So yeah. Two little travel things. I think I got this for like a birthday thing. This is the Tasha, the water cream. 100% would repurchase this. Um, the only thing is, this is super expensive, so I probably won't buy this unless Ulta is doing, I mean, unless Sephora is doing like a points multiplier event on this specific item or it goes on sale because it's super, super pricey, but I do feel like it is amazing at moisturizing and not feeling thick on your skin. Um, but all of Tatcha's moisturizers, I feel like are really, really great. So yeah, I love this. 100% will repurchase this in the full size. And then the last thing is the Use to the People 15% Vitamin C Clean Caffeine Energy Serum. So if you guys remember in my Sephora haul, I talked about this. I got this set um, and I loved this. I love a good vitamin C serum, especially during the day. It just wakes your skin up. It gives your skin brightness. It helps fade out any discoloration. And um, I 100% would buy this in a full size, but I am working on another vitamin C serum right now, so I probably won't repurchase it right away. But yeah, that's it, y'all. I managed to finish this, and it literally took forever. It's literally dark outside. I'm so sorry <laughs> that it is now dark. But y'all, that is it for my empties from Ju July-ish, August-ish. Um, so yeah, I'll try to have my next empties video a little bit more organized. Um, but yeah, hopefully I have more Bath and Body Works stuff in my next empties video. But yeah, this is just stuff that I remember to save. A lot of stuff that I, I actually threw away before I filmed it. So yeah. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!